welcome to the relaxed room. I hope you are relaxed. Um, I wanted to make this session in English, so I, uh, that's why I took um, one week intensive English course. And I, like, I can say important things like, hello, I am David. Um, my mother is cooking. And my brother is cooking too. But uh, it was promoted on uh, on uh, BHPC website uh, like uh, like presentation in Czech. So is there anyone who doesn't speak Czech? Great, great. So I so it uh, I will I will try to use my English course and uh, speak in English. So. I'd like to introduce you a tool, Tracy. First of all, do you know this? I think you very, very good know what, what this means. This is, this is error message in PHP. This is exception in PHP. There are really a lot of informations, but it's not always good to have a lot of information when you can't orient it in. So there are some tools uh, which, uh, which uh, provides better visualization of uh, PHP errors and exceptions. And Tracy, Tracy is one of them. I think, I believe Tracy is uh, the most addictive uh, tool for, for this because it has a really nice uh, UI, really friendly user interface. And let's, okay, let's enable Tracy. You can download, download it with Composer or download Tracy far and Enable it. And now the same error. Do you see the difference? This line and this line. It's really, and uh, the difference between exceptions, except, exception in pure PHP, and the same exception uh, which is handled by Tracy. Now you can see complete call stack. You can click, see parameters, see source code. You can hide this tracy to see output of your application. Okay, um, maybe you think Tracy is a new kid on the block. No, it is really old, old software. I'll show you website, and it's uh, it it was development. It have been development over ten years, and it's really really very popular in Czech Republic. I think the most of PHP programmers in Czech Republic knows Tracy. The question is uh, why programmers all around the world don't know Tracy. I think we should uh, we should uh, post more and uh, and say about our great tools in in the world. So Tracy is a really mature tool developed developed over ten years, used uh, widely widely used uh, by a lot of companies. And it's uh, very easy to use it in your application. You can use it in any code base. Uh, you can use it in your, in with WordPress on uh, with uh, other frameworks. It's really as simple as call Tracy Debugger enable. You can learn. Tracy to open 
to, to communicate with your editor, with your, with your, for example, PHP Storm, PHP Storm, and just open files on click. When I click on file, it, it open it in editor. I'll show you example. Okay, and I made a mistake. And ooh. and Tracy says, "Oh, you did mistake." Okay, I can click, click on file name. Simply open it and correct it. But you can see that uh, Tracy, uh, Tracy is hinting. Uh, it, there is, did you mean template? Uh, because uh, he, he, uh, he sometimes knows what variables uh, you should use and find the most closest word. And in this case, he said, maybe you think template. Um, and uh, what about uh, if Tracy can fix it? Fix it uh, by by click. It's possible. I can click on fix it. Yes, and it automatically fi fix this bug. As you can see, it uh, it adds uh, this. Did you did you mean did you mean additions to uh, to PAP notice? So uh, standard PAP notice is undefined variable form, but Tracy at this part. Did you mean so you can simply click on it and fix it? The other important part of Tracy is Tracy bar. Tracy bar is this floating panel. There are a lot of information about uh, current request, uh, time, who is logged, database operations. Um, you can click on, on tab and open new panels. Uh, information about about you used packages composer so it provides you a lot of a lot of useful information about about uh, how how page works You can you can add your own panels to Tracy Bar. Uh, there is a big big collection. Oh, that's not. I probably have no internet connection. So bar can be extended by your own own plugins with your own uh, use of information. For example, uh, when you use Doctrine, you can add panel uh, that monitors Doctrine uh, queries and you can see uh, how many queries uh, was called.
What about Ajax? Uh, when you develop Ajax pages, uh, you can see uh, if there was error because because uh, page is not reloaded, but there is support for Ajax too. Simply, when I when I trigger Ajax event this way, there is another another layer, another row with uh, Tracy with uh, Ajax information. So this this first line is about my ori original HTTP request about page loading, and the second line is about the Ajax. Another usual thing uh, is dumping variables. So I create some variable. In page PHP, there are a few uh, functions to dump variables. For example, print f or var dump. But uh, output is not readable. Uh, it's hard to ori orient it in this output. So Tracy have its own method, dump. And dump result, results to this output. You can collapse or open part of its dump. It's much more readable than, uh, than native functions. It is uh, also supported in command line environment. Uh, everything everything what, what we saw is about uh, development mode of Tracy. So in development mode it uh, outputs a lot of information. Uh, it uh, visualizes your exceptions and errors, but in production mode, it outputs nothing and only logs errors to to uh, your files. So when I switch it to to production mode. You can notice that bar and dump will disappear. Yes, they are they are uh, showed only in uh, production, uh, only in development mode. And when I when I made mistake. Oh, this mistake. It shows this uh, neutral error message and logs error to directory. So there is directory log and the error exception is logged as HTML file. So you can open it and the HTML files contain the same output as you can see in uh, development mode. So every information you have in development mode, this information are, are saved to HTML file and you can see uh, it later. Uh, you, can, you can see it in log folder. Um, 
General Sam Port, on official ports to other frameworks and CMS. Uh, so if you are using these frameworks, you can use of an official port, but uh, it should work in every code base you have. It's really simple to install it. As you can notice, uh, Tracy, Tracy is part of uh, Nete. Um, Nete is framework. It's a really popular framework in Czech Republic, and uh, it con uh, it is Nete family is a collection of components, and uh, Tracy is one of these component. And uh, there is also another framework. Another framework is built on these components. Uh, few years ago, it was rated as third most popular framework in the world. It is this one, two, three line. So we was catching bronze. I think it is the only one framework that has the main claim on a home page, don't use frameworks, but don't believe to everything. Uh, I just want to uh, show you one more thing. Uh, one more thing in this family is Latte. Latte is templating engine. And it's templating engine which is really, really safe. I like it. Uh, tell you three important things about Latte. First important thing is that you already know its syntax. No kidding, you know its syntax because uh, syntax of Latte is the same syntax as uh, PHP syntax. So when you know PHP, you know Latte. Uh, you don't need to waste time on thinking when you should use this kind of delimiter and this kind. Simply write PHP syntax is so closed. But it, it uh, also offers a very, very expressive syntax. You can use something that is called n macro. It is n colon if n for each attributes. And it allows you to this, this, this write in more, more uh, shorter way. So you can macros if, tax if, and, and for each write as attribute this way. The second most, most important thing is that it uh, provides something that is called uh, content where escaping. I'll show you on demo. And this is template, and this is way how to out variable.
help. This variable can be output in a, in different context in in PHP text, in PHP attribute. Uh, sorry, in, in HTML attribute. In attribute that is in single quotes or with no quotes. Or with on in JavaScript. All in real JavaScript. And in HTML and the important thing is that in each context it should be escaped differently. I'll add some special cars. So this variable contains single double quotes, special HTML cars, and now C. The difference in JavaScript, it is encoded as string. In HTML text, it is encoded this way. In attribute, single double quotes, there are encoded uh, quotes because it is not possible to use quote non-encoded in this content. And in HTML command, there are specially encoded uh, dash dashes because there is no allowed to use two dashes um, in the row. But in the template, you just use one way how to output. So you have now to uh, think of where where you uh, out variables. It's it's task for Latte. Latte au automatically detects uh, your content and use the right way how to encode output. So this really great prevention for cross-site scripting. There are some other, other uh, security things. Uh, for example, when I will create variable, and output in template or in attribute. It outputs as you expected, but Link. 
this is would you expect but what if in variable is problematic content for example in this case in in this place i show refresh it is not print to prevent uh, to prevent uh, unwanted behavior so if you really believe the source of this variable and want to print it you can use you can tell no check and it will be printed but by default it will check if content of this variable is safe to be used in this context so tracy knows context where is variable uh, printed and when it uh, can lead to a security hole he uh, doesn't print it at all so i think you can you should try latte you should try uh, tracy because i think you will love this tool and you can use it in any code base it's very easy very easy uh, there is good quick documentation how to how to use tracy so Do you like taxi, Tracy? Yes, okay, okay. Okay, thank you, thank you. And um, I am David, I live in Prague and uh, my mother is cooking and my brother uh, is cooking too. <laughs>